Bum, 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 Square Enix. I remember when Square and Enix were competing companies. Good days, good days. This game has an autosave feature. Your bonus has been downloaded from the Nintendo eShop. You will be able to claim it after you reach a certain point in the story. Sister, thank you for liking it. Gracias, Grado. Nice, we gotta move that, maybe make it a little smaller. Appreciate all the likes and stuff. I just want to take up part of the screen for this one. New game and all. Okay. Press any button. Uh, I already pushed the go live button. Should I hit push the end stream button? Oh, and log sticks count. Who was that? You draw still? What was that? A window? Is that a kid sleeping? She's peeking out a crack. Eric, are you awake? <laughs> Come on, let's sneak out again. I want to find some treasure. Special achievement. We're going to be partying all night. They won't even know we've snuck off. <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> uh, I'll be up on the deck. And don't give the game away, got it? Give the game away, got it. Hey, that looks like the map on the wall looks like regular Dragon Quest. Can I look at that map better? Oh, I can. Let me get up there. I want to look at that map. Wow. Examine. It's one of Mia's paintings. She has pinned it up here to cover the people. <coughs> it's Mia's notebook. Tales of Treasure is written on the cover. Me and Eric snuck out on one of a, one of the little boat skins tonight. We found a cave inside. It was the prettiest stone I ever saw. It was a nice rock for sure, but I wouldn't call it treasure. I've got a funny feeling the next time we sneak out the ship, we'll find a proper treasure. The one we've been searching for. All right. Melissa! Thank you for liking and sharing. Me, good gracias. Bergato, welcome to Melissa. It's a map of the world. Eric imagines all the exciting places there are to discover. That looks like the regular Dragon Quest world, if I'm not mistaken. Probably be able to get a better look at it, but okay. Don't matter. So far, I don't have an opinion on the game. Ooh. Speaking of what treasure, what do we got? The Vikings must have brought this back from a raid at some point. It's a chest full of Viking treasure. Eric knows better than to try and open it. Instead, he looks forward to the day when he and Mia have found treasure of their own. Oh, I can climb up on stuff. Alright, interesting, interesting. Oh, there's a jump button too. Oh, I can jump around. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. Getting a feel for it. The bangs defy gravity. Alright. Alright, so now we got a menu. Not a lot going on on the menu yet. Rafaela! Thank you for the like me, gracias, Bregado. Welcome to Rafaela. Look at all the cannonballs. I should put 10 in my pocket and go load the cannons. No. Uh, how am I not supposed to give our game up? They're standing here. Look, if it isn't young Eric, our very own little magpie. How long has it been since we took you and me on board? 
must be a fair old while already. Still, I bet you're glad we did, though, eh? A steady job on a Viking longship? You must be the luckiest pair of orphans in the world. What was that? You're gonna find a treasure that'll make you rich enough to get off this ship? <laughs> Fat chance that! Tell me, how much treasure have you found so far? None? Ah, of course not. Treasure hunting's not for little runs like you. Leave it to the experts. As you can see. Anyway, as you can see, we're having a feast in here tonight, and we don't want some scruffy young ones spoiling the mood. Go back to your room. Go back to your room and get some sleep, because we certainly won't be. <laughs> Hello, Rafaela. Neil must have found some other way to get up to the deck. Better try searching for another route. Vikings turn out a party. <laughs> it's one of the Vikings magazines. They say they only read them for the articles. Eric is a bit too young to appreciate such highbrow content. There's at least stacks of coins sitting around. Out the window. Nope. Take the ass. Looks like someone could about squeeze through there if they were crouching. Ooh, you've learned the crouch command. And that's what I caught them, a funny little cat and pig, but with wings. Thought they were monsters at first, but they were tame enough. Must be rare. And you know what that means. <laughs> I'll drink to that. We are going to be rich. So where are they now then? Locked up somewhere safe, I hope. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. They're in a cage and hanging from the mast. They're not going anywhere. The shelves are lined with books. The Vikings like to read them when they're not busy looting and pillaging. Eric can't make head, head nor tail of them, however. When we Vikings run from a successful raid, the fire water flows non-stop for three days and nights. But not for your younglings like you, of course. Don't let me catch you stealing a sip. <laughs> Ooh, I like to I like to how you can climb around on stuff. Alright, so far as to get the passing grade. Can't make it over there. Can't make it over there, okay. Sail, so, Eric, I saw young Mia heading up to the deck. I was surprised to see her on her own. I thought you two were joined at the hip. Ooh, run around all over their food. They don't care, they're too trashed. I can't talk to them. They're inanimate objects. Oh, I can't get on that back banister either. It's a map of the world. Same description as the other one. No? 
No. No. Load the cannons. Skeletons. No, I'm just kidding. Skeleton galley. No, I'm joking. Oh, the steering wheel's up there. Oh, we're in the front of the ship. Oh, I had the ship turned around the other way in my head. Where? <laughs> you took your time? I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Just kidding. I know you can't wait to find a treasure of our own. Those Vikings would never make fun of us again. PJ! Thank you for liking me. It's Gracias for auto welcoming PJ. And maybe it's nice tonight. Just imagine. The look on their gormless faces if we brought back something really cool. Does anybody know a definition for the word gormless? Greetings. Hold on, no one saw you sneaking up here, did they? Um Are you serious? Well never mind, they probably forgot about it already. What with all the excitement. The boat's already. Maybe we can check out one of those little islands again. Huh? What was that? Those must be the strange creatures I heard the Vikings talking about. Poor little things. Come on. We can't just leave them locked up like that. Come on, let's set them free. Hmm? <coughs> We're not going to be able to climb up there, but I bet you could knock the cage down with these. <laughs> Eric received ten pebbles from Mia. Pebble. A catapult pellet that inflicts very minor impact damage on a single enemy. <coughs> you can use the catapult to shoot pebbles and pellets. Hold down ZR to pull back to pull back the pocket. Line up your shot with the right analog stick and then let go of ZR to shoot. When your catapult is drawn, press Y to change which pellet you shoot. There is a perfect pellet for every situation, so choose wisely. With ZR held down, you held down and your catapult jump back. Lock onto an enemy and press L or R to quickly switch between targets. Oh, I can't. All right. Aww. Imagine being cooped up like that, left dangling from the mast. It's just horrible. They really are unusual, though. I've never seen anything like them before. <laughs> Cannonballs and steady recharges, explosive kegs. Pebbles. You already been the best equipped to defend the ship. <laughs> and cut that out. Haven't you noticed? You're free now. Meow, meow, meow. Wow. Oink. <coughs> they want us to follow them. Maybe they're going to reward us by showing us where all the good treasure is hidden. Hehe, <laughs> well, there's no harm in dreaming, right? After all, anything's possible. Right, let's get moving. Those funny creatures won't hang around forever, you know?
Cage broke when he hit the deck. The Vikings are are going to be furious when they find out. This is what the Vikings use to raise the anchor. Eric has never been allowed to use it. Let's go. <laughs> All ready to set sail? Sure Let's am. Go. Okay, then off we go. J Puff with the notify. Oh, looks like it's sloop life now. You little, you put a close when they get the hands on you. That was a close one. Well, I guess we're not going back now. There's trash out there. I just know. Yeah, we have no food. We have no blankets. Sure, it was a good idea just to anger our caretakers and disappear. There's one thing sneaking off to find treasure and come back and have a bed and food. <laughs> and no cannons either. Thank you for the like, me good gracias, but I got a welcome in. I hope when we come out on the other side, we're gonna see a thieves. That'd be amazing. Fog-coated island. Uh, Nothing ominous, and ominous so about this place. There an island around here? We've been sailing for how long? Would you even know where we are? I'll uh, wait here. You just tell me what happened. No, I'm just kidding. Nice swim. Ooh, he swims. All right. Trent, thank you for like me. Get across these. Oh, welcome in, Trent. Oh, quit. I am exploring. I'm an explorer, obviously. I'm. A, I mean, we're little kid orphans. Sto orphans. I ran away from our longship Viking keeper. Oh, we can't. I guess that makes sense. Over here, she says, let me be nosy first. Not my climbing, though. Exciting, is it? But there's treasure down here. Seriously? Dead end, huh? Daniel! I you ever like these grasses? Grab a welcome in, Daniel. Look, it opened! Yeah! And it's closed. Your idea? Look at the giant rocks around us. We could just work together to pile rocks on the buttons and we could both check it out. I want to check it out too. It's my turn now. Oh, there's a tag feature? Can't we just move these giant rocks on top of the buttons?
Well, uh, looks pretty obvious from here. We did it. We did it, Mia. Look. Look, over there. Another door. No treasure, I bet those are worth a fortune. <coughs> the cat and pig must have known about this place. I wonder what the deal is with them. Well, let's try and worry about that later. First things first, let's go get those daggers. There's two of them, so I make that one each. Come on. I feel like this is a trap. I feel like you're leading me into a trap, weird animals. What kind of rogue are you? Did you even check for traps, you treasure hunter? You're waiting for us to both be there, huh? David, thank you for the like we get across these throughout the world and David. Translation daggers. Hmm? Right, I've decided I'll be taking the girl. Hey! I thought we agreed no magazines. Huh. Fine, I was going to choose the boy all along anyway. Well then, who even are you guys? They're a bit on the young side, aren't they? You really think this is them, the legendary treasure hunters? Well, there's only one way to find out. What is this all about? Are uh, you... Ready? Are you steady? Go! Translate, yeah, translation daggers with LED lights, right? Run, I told you it was a trap. Oh, now you lost your translation dagger. One! I never like these crosses to out of welcome. One. You won't get rid of me that easily. Once again, into the breach. She might be a little clingy. You just jumped into an unknown vortex of light. You won't get away from me like that. <laughs> all the tips I can look at are all just the same tip. Pretty good, pretty good. Your translation dagger. The Mia, the dagger Mia found in the treasure or in the ruins is stuck firmly in the soil. Seems somehow to have traveled through the portal with her. 
Pull the dagger out of the ground? Of course. Yeah, acquires the dragon dagger. JJ, thank you for like the atrocities. We got a welcome in JJ. A curious power seems to swell inside her. Now, where could Eric have gotten to? Better get out of here and start looking for him. <coughs> been good, been good. Nothing to wake those monsters up, so no fear. Cozy under a little tree, huh? Strong lily pads. She slime. Also snoozing. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I don't think we're gonna encounter anything yet. Aww. The gate is firmly padlocked shut. There must be some way to get it open. Wow. The pink slime appears to be in a spot of bother. She seems to be looking around agitatedly. It's almost as though she's looking for something. Could she have lost something and wants Mia to help her find it? Stay tuned. Uzabella, the cutie slime, joins the party. Amazing, Mia saw where Uzabella lost Uzabella's lost property is located. Seems she had a vision showing her something that Uzabella had seen. Did this have something to do with the dagger? Use the vision Maya just had to find Uzabella's lost item. When you get close to some hidden loot, your monsters will have treasure vision that shows you where the valuables are located. To view treasure vision, cycle between them, holding L and B. Compare visions to the surrounding landscape to track down that treasure. Interesting. 68 hit points, 50 magic, level 1, no experience. 6314. Oh wow. Alright. Uh, 63 hit points, 14 magic, 11 attack, 8 defense, 8 deftness, and 15 magic. Sweet spank. For an individual. Crack, Sizz, Heal, Dragon Attack, Meteoric Rise. Rubber Oh, I can click on things there. Reduces the damage received from impact attacks. Decreases the likelihood of being targeted by enemies. But here we are. Grows in size and plummets towards a target from on high inflicts major explosive da ability damage to all enemies forms a body check that inflicts physical piercing damage on an enemy that gets in the way and potentially stuns them unleashes icy shards that cases the en chases the enemies down inflicts ice elemental magic damage 
I mean, she's beams of light at a target, inflicting light element damage on any enemy caught in their path. Restores 28 or more hit points to a single ally. Reduces the damage received from impact attacks. Decreases the likelihood of being targeted by the enemy. Yep. Oh. Okay. Normal resistance to fire, water, earth, wind, explosions, ice, electric. Strong against gravity. Strong against light, weak against dark, weak against slash, normal impact, normal piercing, normal sleep, normal stun. Weak to poison, strong to beat debilitation. Okay. <laughs> Unleashes a flurry of dagger strikes, inflicting physical slash damage on an enemy. Unleash a critical hit on an enemy as long as it doesn't see you approaching. Inflicts physical damage. Darts in for a chance to steal an item from an enemy. If you fail to steal an item, the enemy will become enraged. Wild side. Increases all stats and movement speed. Normal, normal, strong against wind and earth. Normal, 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 quite strong against gravity. Normal, normal, quite strong against sleep. No weaknesses. Alright, 68, 15, 15 attack, 10 defense, 10 deafness, and 11 magic. <laughs> the end game boss. Stephanie, thank you for the like me, Atrasius Priado. Welcome in, Stephanie. Oh, press and hold. I just tapped it and expected it to do it. I am feeling good, Stephanie. How are you? Slime Jewel, a sparkling gem of a kind much sought after amongst slimes. This one is the prized possession of Uzabella. <laughs> It looks like Mia has found Uzabella's treasured item. Uzabella is absolutely delighted. I'm glad to hear that, Stephanie. And it looks like she might well help Mia get out by way of by way of thanks. Head over to the padlocked gate with Uzabella. Must have items. You can view all your possessions, pellets, materials, and more from items section of the menu. Use it to keep tabs on your stock or check what each item does. Pellets, pebbles. Key items, slime jewelry, yep. All right. Log book. Monster list. Cute slime. Favorite food? Safe keeping score 100. Treasure capacity 2. A turnogan. from Kamikaizo. I should probably send him a message tonight. Isabella has smashed the gate open. Whoa, this is seriously shady. Admiral Mogsworth is not going to be happy. Oh. 
Yeah, well, no choice but to go this way. We have come here in search of treasure. And will not rest until every last bit of it belongs to us. When we are done this place, not a single shiny scrap will be left unpillaged, not a lick of loot unplundered. And who are we, you ask? Why, the most feared pirates of them all. Silver Bones, Thunderous Plunders. I am Admiral Maxwell. And I am none other than the Supreme Swashbuckler, the peerless privateer, Admiral Mogsworth. <laughs> Vanglorious Hunter, Mogsworth. Welcome to our crew. Allow me to humbly welcome you to our crew. Oh ho, but I am forgetting that you only just awoke. I'll warn you haven't gotten a foggiest idea what's going on. Well, let me fill you in on some details. We chanced upon you here on uh, Patternoggin, deep in slumber in the middle of the woods. I've never been one to ignore a damsel in distress, so I ordered my crew to bring you here right away. Now that you're up and about, I'll trust you'll make yourself at home, and you are perfectly safe here, I assure you. Uh, where am I? Good question. This is here where my trusty crew and I have set up camp. From here, we scour the Paternoggin for his precious treasures. And now I should explain that these islands are legendary for being absolutely chock full of treasure. We've traveled a long way to get here, and we're not planning on leaving before we've got our paws on every last bit of it. There's nothing quite like treasure. There's nothing quite like treasure. It's what we pirates live for. To that end, we, the Thunderous Plunderers, have selected this very spot to pitch camp. Will we strip the lands of its riches? Play your cards right, my girl, and I may even see fit to share a scrap of our spoils with you. <laughs> Mia hasn't got time to think about everything Admiral Mogsworth told her. She needs to find Eric. came out of. So we won't be getting into their ship. Vash, Captain Silverbone's first mate, Gustav and Bonnie are currently discussing important matters. I can't let you go in there. Lassie, no matter how much of a shine old Moggy's taken to you, now get ye gone. Okay. Yar, finally decided to join us, did you? Well, if there's anything I can help you with, just ask. Uh, have you seen my brother? Lost well, your brother, have you, Lassie? Gar, there's nothing sadder than a family torn apart. I wish I was able to help you, I really do. But I ain't seen anyone looking remotely like he might be your brother around here, I'm yeah. afraid. Most likely you'll have to venture further afield if you're to be reunited here with Lassie. Uh, nope. You can rest at a campfire to fully restore your entire party's hit points of magic. Taking a beating and need to recover your magic points are running low, seek out the nearest campfire without delay. Your game will be auto-saved when you rest at a campsite to be sure to make use of any you come across. Mogsworth goes like, we are mighty pirates and etc etc. Mia's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Where is Eric? It's a good place to take a break. I'm pooped. Christina! Now you would like me to get your eyes, we got a welcome in Christina. Yeah. 
With the right pellets in your pouch, you can use a catapult to whack foes and heal your pals. Plain old pebbles will do damage to your enemies, while heal pellets will fix up any ally lucky enough to be struck by one. Yep. Oh, sure, screw it down. Oh, I don't want to talk to you again. No good. Pebble. Found ten pebbles. Oh, Moggy's got where he is today because Captain Silverbones took a shine to him. But he'll be scrubbing the deck again before you know it if he doesn't start finding some rare treasures. Heal pellets. What? Admiral Wogsworth's newest recruit has woken up. This is seriously shady. We really need to help sound the alarm. What's wrong with you, Shady? You just told him a minute ago. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Thanks, Shambles. Sorry. I know I can be a bit dim sometimes. Now then, you're Admiral Rogsworth's new favorite, it seems. He's not usually so quick to take a shine at someone, you know? How you managed to wheedle your way to his affection while you were fast asleep is beyond me. Anyway, you're up and about now, it seems. And I have a sneaking suspicion you're planning to leave the camp, am I right? I guess I am. I knew it. It's written all over your face. Aww. You lost your brother? That's dark. I wish I could help you find him. We're under strict orders from Admiral Mogsworth not to let you wander off. I've got an idea. If you'd be willing to help out our help us out, perhaps we might reconsider our strict no leaving the camp policy. The other day, Sherry, Shady buried some treasure around here to stop anyone from getting it. Then he promptly forgot where he put it. Robert, thank you for the like me your eyes. Forgot, oh, welcome, in, Robert. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know, Stephanie. If you could find that treasure and bring it to us, we might reconsider letting you slip out to camp. Uh -huh. huh? But how is she meant to find it, Shambles? We don't even know where it is. It's not really fair to... Of course it's not fair, you wolf. It's impossible. That's the whole point. We're not supposed to let her pass, remember? Ah, now, let's go over it again, shall we? Shady's buried some treasures somewhere in the camp. Your job to find it. <laughs> yeah, and if you do, we'll let you through. No questions asked. Definitely for sure. Not a shadow of a doubt. Honest. <laughs> the symbol above Isabella seems to indicate she knows where Shady buried the treasure. Might be wise to keep an eye out for it. similar symbols in the future as they could show the way to more treasure. For now, Isabella's vision should be able to guide me into the right spot. It's a barrel with a marker on it. I was looking at it wrong. <coughs> Dave! Thank you for the white music, guys. He's put a god. Oh, welcome in, Dave, and good evening. 
<laughs> An accessory that ensures its wearer never falters in the face of adversity. What is this thing? You find a less restless heart. An accessory that ensures its wear and never falters in the face of adversity. Well. Ah, here she comes. Did you find our treasure? <laughs> Sarah! I thought you were like me get across this, but I gotta welcome in Sarah. Oh my, you actually did. You found the treasure, the, the restless heart. But how? How'd you know where it was buried? I have to admit, I didn't think it managed it, but you proved me wrong. This is a pleasant surprise. Now, if you'd be so kind, I do believe that restless heart belongs to us. Hey, 162 day follow age. Mia hands the restless heart to Shambles. <laughs> Your treasure is beautiful, isn't it? Seriously? Thank you. Thank you. This has really brightened my mood. <laughs> now, we're monsters of our word. You are hereby officially free to explore the big bad world outside. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright. Because I'm feeling generous, you're gonna have a handful of pebbles in this old map. Here you are. A map detailing part of Draconia, a legendary land that is teeming with treasure. It once belonged to a pair of peculiar pirates. More pebbles. All sorts of wild monsters out there, so be careful. Don't say we didn't warn you. You got yourself a map. You can now check where you are and where you're going using the mini map in the top right corner of the screen. If you're ever lost and want to plan your route, press select to look at the big map. Mr. Yeomans, thank you for the like me at Gracias Grotto. Welcome, Mr. Yeomans. Treasure, treasure. Zap pellet, a catapult pellet that inflicts minor electrical damage on a single enemy. Quest for the dragon. It's going. I'm supposed to go to that cave. But I'm the nosy sort. This is why I'm the nosy sort. What do we have here? Sizz pellet, a catapult pellet that inflicts minor light damage on a single enemy. Oh, we got lightning and sizz pellets. Guessing I can't get up there yet. I like the way she holds a dagger. Sean! Thank you for like me, Trashy's Grotto. Welcome, Sean. Alright. Okay, okay.
Octavius, thank you for the like video, trash, and subscribe to welcome Octavius. You are my favorite little treasure hunter. I've been searching for you everywhere. And what's this? Trying to take on a Drakey, are you? It's quite a big task for someone your age, you know? You don't need to do it all by yourself now when you've got a monster to help you. Have it fight alongside you, and this battle will start to look a little more winnable. You may feel a little overwhelmed at first, but try not to worry. Every battle will take both you and your monster stronger. Edward! Thank you for liking the Atrocity Squad. Welcome in, Edward. Let's see what you and your monster friend have got. I'm you. Are you paying attention? Hey Mario, yep, this is Dragon Quest Treasures. That's not in the Facebook game library yet of games I can stream, so that's why I mislabeled it. I I played one through four. Monsters who have joined your gang will fight of their own accord when engaged in battle. Work together to take your enemy down. I've played one, two, three, four. I've played just a little bit of five. You did it. And there's some of the newer ones I've played, and then a lot of the monster series, Dragon Quest Monsters. You did it. That was some fine fighting, but don't stop there. If you want to get stronger, you'll have to take part in plenty more battles. Oh, but where are my manners? We haven't been formally my introduced. Name is Paucus. And I am searching for a certain very special sort of treasure. Mia's sidekick, Porcus. <laughs> no. I am pleased to see that you are still obsessed with the Dragon Dagger. Those daggers are extremely powerful and will allow you to do all sorts of extraordinary things. You will be able to see visions of treasures that monsters can sense nearby, but that's not all. By expending some of your magic power, you'll be able to heal yourself. Not bad, huh? What's more, when the power of the two daggers is combined, well, wondrous things can happen. Hold on. What happened to the blue-haired boy who pulled out the other one? Uh, listen. What? You got separated, and he's your brother, you say. Well, that's no good at all. Don't worry too much. You should have a new feline friend to Still. keep him company. Shouldn't leave them out on your own devices for too long. Let's see if we can't track them down. We'll do it. Did I not get experience for that battle? Oops. Oh, now I can just attack and roll. Alright, cool, cool. I didn't even get experience for that battle. What a ripoff. Alright, well, anyway. Is that an important or unimportant message? Oh, I can jump. A yep, jump and attack. Nice. Oh, oh. <coughs> oh, this is my newest recruit. What are you doing all the way out here? Is this an acquaintance of yours? He seems interesting. <coughs> To answer your question, we're looking for Mia's brother. Oh, oh is that right? Now let me think. Hmm. Yes, that's it. I remember now. I was up on the southern shore when I saw him. A boy with blue hair and blue eyes. Sound familiar? 
Must be him. Come on, let's go. You can't just stroll up to the southern sh southern horn. All sorts of wild monsters wandering around. I can't good conscience allow you to head to such a perilous place without a valiant guide and bodyguard, by which I mean me. Admiral Mogsworth joins the party. And I shall have something I missed that one. Gunther, the slime, joins the party. We can use the sky lift in the forest atop this cliff to ascend to the southern horn. The cliff is too steep to climb, but that's where our gelatinous companions come in. Simply jump on a slime's back and use the elasticity provided by their blobby body to bounce to the top. Come on, this hop to is it. Well worth knowing. Hold down L and press A, X, or Y to use a monster's fort. You'll have to work as a team to hunt down hidden treasures in hard to reach places. Each monster has a different forte at their disposal. Try to include different monsters in your party and see which fortes work for you. Glide, sprint, scan, stealth. If you pull off a lofty leap, you might be able to reach the top of that cliff. Perhaps the sign can help you make good use of their forte. I'm sure you can manage it. So gives a lift. <coughs> On appraised treasure, a mysterious treasure of unidentified type and unknown condition. Get it appraised to discover its true oh, value. Valuable. So you found some loot. It doesn't look especially valuable though. Well, one man's trash is another man's treasure, as they say. Anyway, what you just picked up is commonly known as bric-a-brac. You may not qualify as top treasure, but you can find some equally rare pieces as well worth adding to your collection. Ah, bric-a-brac. Skylet, that will take us to the highest point on the island. Good evening, Kevin. Thank you for the like and share. Amigo to Gross, here's Pregado. All we need to do is hop aboard and it will whisk us to the summit of the Southern Horn, where your brother surely awaits. The door won't budge. You know we have to nose around before we can move on. That's how you find all the crazy stuff. Ooh, you can break pots. Good, good. Oh, look at that. Oh, heal pellets. I thought it was a bag of cash. Alright, I'm with this game so far. The mechanism looks quite old and rickety. Try pulling a lever? Sure will. So far I approve. I'm still... I'm about 85% 80, sold on it. You can view all your possessions, tell me yeah, I've looked at that already. Yes, the door won't budge. Oops. I don't remember that stuff. That door looks like it leads out of the building. We need to explore inside first. Good old in music. Huh. 
one fades. Then they came. Two golden dragons. Visitors from a far off land. Transform dreams into treasure. Scattered oh, across the land. Read the legend behind the treasure found all over these islands. Ah, uh, sure. Then they came. It was like. Oh, hello. Yeah. Uh, oh, no thanks. I've always been curious as to why there are such extraordinary riches to be found here, you see. Perhaps that's why you're here. Search these lands for treasures of your dreams. It's Dragon Quest Eight. you have it on PS2. Ace. Have you seen my brother? Oh, you're looking for your brother, are you? And he would also have blue hair and blue eyes once closes? As it happens, I do recall seeing such a boy upstairs, though I was rather preoccupied with my research to pay him much, much heed. Please do be careful if you tend to search for him. No, the way up ahead is possibly infested with frightfully uncouth monsters. Best of luck in any case, I hope you are reunited with your brother before long. Ancient ruins appear to have been carved on the monument, but Mia can't make heads or tails of them. Ah, there's no doubt about it. I'll, I know a treasure hunter when I see him, Craw. I can tell from the eyes, you see, and it seems you have a loyal crew to help you out, too. Uh, thanks. You're most welcome, Craw, though I'll bet you're not a patch on my mistress. That's nothing to be ashamed of. My mistress is as close. It, my mistress is in a class of her own. So mind your manners when you speak to her, Ka. Doesn't seem to be any fall damage either. Mike and Jeremy, thank you for the like, Scooby Crossius Grotto. Welcome in. This place looks and smells like it could be home to monsters. Best proceed with caution. And now we're getting some points. Easy. What's to be worried of here? These things aren't particularly dangerous, it seems. Door won't budge. Let's look for another way. Buff pellets. no point to come up here but I have to be nosy yeah it doesn't look like any point to be in there okay what's up Jeremy just checking out the new Dragon Warrior game Dragon Quest game more heal pellets Going on with you, man. Door won't budge. <laughs> Danny! Now you really like the Atrocious like Grotto. Welcome in, Danny. So, what you've been playing the last few days? Sweet. My PayPal wasn't working yesterday, or I was streaming this yesterday. But yeah, this is my first, still getting my first impressions of it. How are you liking it, Paul? A 
if I look the right direction. It's got a little bit of a, like a Dragon a Dragon Quest Warriors feel to it with the combat. I'm kind of digging that. for some attention. Yeah, I'm not streaming as much because of my new job, so harder to harder to find me. Switch only title, I believe, yes. interesting looking attraction. It seems to be broken at the moment. Does get a little light grindy later in the game. Oh yeah, full-time jobs do that. But I am required, or not required, but I'm needed. I'm needed for the for the benefit of the youth of the Red Lake Nation. So if the kids need me, I'm always a sucker for kids' needs. Pellets. I haven't needed any pellets yet, aside from getting into the new world. Ooh, boosh pellets. All kinds of pellets. Alright, well, let's cap everybody off anyway, get the save in. Yeah, St. Paul, I'm, I'm also a sucker for Dragon Quest games. Something may well be lurking on the other side of the door. Open it and go through? Why, of course. Look who's sleeping on the job. It must be your brother. Quick, we have to help him. What in the name of... Music, music in these games are ace. Oh, okay. Time that for it. Wasn't bad at all. You defeated the Heartless Hunter. Courage and wit has served thee well. Bout has been promoted to the next level. Where did that thing come from? It frightened the life out of me. Well, he made short work of it at least now. Someone needs your help. It could very well be your brother. 
Heartless Hunter is no more, but most of its components look like they're still intact. If you knew someone who was good with machines, you might be able to get it repaired. Dear boy, are you all right? Huh? Mia? Where were you? I've been looking everywhere for you. Listen. Mia tells Eric that she's also been looking for him. So we've been look both looking for each other, huh? And it looks like you made a lot of a lot of friends along the way. I'm impressed. You know, when I get when I got sucked through that thing and found myself all alone, never I was pretty worried. That. But never mind that. We found each other in the end. What's going on? What am I doing on the floor? Hmm. Dear me, sleeping on the job again. Per Persula. Come on, up and at him. Hold on. Hold on. Is that is this Flap and feline an acquaintance of yours? <laughs> Flap and feline indeed. <laughs> the name I have, you your know. Name, and for your information, I have come to this world in search of some very particular treasures. <laughs> Super Saiyan Blue Goten? Yeah, sweet. <laughs> I was a bit freaked out when she started following me around, but Priscilla is actually quite pretty cool. And she knows so much neat stuff about treasures in these islands we're on. Now I remember, we've just got that treasure chest open when, well, after all that, it's a bit of a blank. I'm sure there was something in there, though. Hmm. Well, it's empty now. That's very strange. I could have sworn I saw a glimpse of treasure when I opened where's it. The treasure? Hey, Grunt, where's the treasure? Oh. Where's so it? Mog's worth. So Silver Bones mangy dog body wants to get his filthy paws on the treasure, does he? <laughs> Not on my watch. Hands over. Levanter, no seventh of Sylphania, is going to give me orders. Besides, this chest was empty when we arrived, so stop acting dumb. It must be you who's got your grubby mitts on its contents. Nonsense. We only just got here. Whoever took that treasure wasn't us. <clears throat> Which rather begs the question, who did take it? I thought I was in for another fight. Seems like a very pirate themed game. Impulsive privateer, Bonnie. Enigmatic Buccaneer Gustav Scourge of the Sky Silver Bones Last it all Silver Bones <laughs> Well if it isn't the Sylphian It's a little late to the party more I see We've secured the treasure we took the liberty of securing the treasure you seem to have been seeking. Now, uh, who could it be? Yes, no doubt about it. It's one of the seven stones. <laughs> That's a dragon stone. 
Oh, bravo, Captain Skullbones, you've done it again. Truly, it is a privilege to see you at work. Yes, what? Enough, Mogs. Well, if you're embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing us all. <laughs> well, look, Captain, how can you say such a thing? Mm. You call yourself a pirate? The so-called booty you kept bringing back is nothing but worthless rubbish. Ah, uh, and look at you now. You sniveling wrench, you're unworthy of a place in my thunderous plunderers. Use the boy, you lies, you're dead to me. <coughs> captain? What are the youngins, Captain? Blue-eyed whippersnappers, huh? We've got more important matters at hand. Listen up, Silverbones. You won't get away with it. I will stop you in the name of Sylvania. It's been a while. It's not often we get to parlay, so here's a juicy tidbit for ye. We've got our sights on a place called La Isla Dorada, an island where unimaginable witches await. <laughs> I wouldn't expect a fool like you to understand. Excuse us. Lavander, we've got places to be and treasure to plunder. Gahar! <coughs> it's like half voice acted. It's weird. That's kind of weird. It's like either go all in or don't voice act at all. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd be okay if they wanted to vote. So uh huh. Hold on. That treasure, they were so brazenly brandishing. Do you think it's one of. I would sit to see so and would snatch right from under our noses. Uh, sis? So we got ourselves mixed up in something serious, sis. Two gangs of hardened treasure hunters, and us caught in the middle. Captain Levanta! Ah, Gail! There you are. Oh. Oh, lad, where are the pirates? <laughs> They've gone. I'll explain everything later. Now then. You lot, what's your story? And this is my sister Mia. <laughs> Eric and Mia, eh? And what are you doing here? Looking for treasure, are you? It's a secret. Hmm. Hmm. Think you're clever, do you? But don't worry. I know exactly what you're up to. <laughs> well, it's good for you to keep us on our toes. I wish you luck. You'll need it. So... I haven't seen you two around before. Are you part of a gang, or are you hunting for treasure yeah. on your own? Either way, it's nice to meet you. See you around, Eric and Mia. Feels like things have finally calmed down a bit. Now's a good time. Guess now's a good time to show you this amazing thing I found. Want to take a look? Come on then, follow me. Oh, oh hey, can I? Can't not break boxes. I'm of that generation of gamer. Me. Yeah. And jars. Legend of Zelda has served me well. Oh, here's a fireplace. Heal up and save. What are you doing, Mia? Come here quick. I seen a fireplace. I was trying to heal and save. Check it out. 
You ever seen anything like that before? It's amazing, right? The problem is, it's not working. Guess it must be broken. Oh yeah, there's something else I want to show you. Come on. Ah, uh, you are bossy, little boy. Check it out. Look, the island's floating in the air. Pretty impressive, <laughs> huh? And that's not all. This place is actually jam-packed with treasure. I mean, I've found loads of cool stuff already. How about you? You find anything? I sure did. Heck yeah, Bunker! Same. How's the game? I've seen ads for this and thought it looked really cool. Okay. Nice work. Show me later, okay? Ah, uh, yeah, so far. So far, I mean, so far I'm digging it. Still can't believe we were in those old ruins. And then we were here. Oh, oh yeah. You still got your dagger from the ruins, right? Seems they're pretty powerful. My one lets me do all kinds of cool stuff. Speaking of your daggers, you might want to take a closer look at them. Matt, thank you for the likes, me get your grassy spagato. Well, I guess the train's running now. Eric and Mia's dragon daggers have somehow got the curious vehicle fired up and ready to go. It's Code Weedabon. Alright, we did it. Now, oh, come check this out. Now what? Looks just like a dragon's head. Um, that's kind of weird, right? As it happens. The place where we were standing is also shaped like a dragon's head. What? Are you serious? Indeed, he is. The treasure-filled land where we find ourselves goes by the name of Draconia. Prizes two giant dragon heads, as well as numerous other islands, which makes up the rest of the bodies. The story goes that two giant golden dragons chose this as their final resting place many centuries ago. Their enormous bodies slowly turned to stone, forming the land masses we see before us now. Two giant golden dragons, huh? Guess that's why there's so much treasure here, then. Exactly. Now, among these countless treasures are some that are very special indeed. Speak of the specious. The precious gems known as Dragon Balls. It is these that Porcus and I seek, and we are by no means the only ones. Alas, we are not capable of very much by ourselves. But that's where you come in. We believe you have the natural treasure hunting talent to help us find the seven dragon stones. Wow. Wow, so there are seven super special treasures to track down. I like the sound of that. What do you think? Searching for the seven Dragon Balls sounds like fun, right? Totally. Great. I knew you'd be game. The jewel those pirates took was one of the Dragon Balls, right? Well, they can show it off all they like, but we're gonna make it ours. That's the spirit. We're so pleased. I can't tell you how pleased we are to have you on our side. But it, isn't there a whole bunch of other treasure hunters want, waiting to be treasure waiting to be found? Every last piece. Well, we're not going home until we've grabbed every last piece we can find. Just... Wish I knew where to start. Wow. I've got a few ideas, but let's start by taking a closer look at that mysterious locomotive. It looks like it could be your best bet if you want to get to those islands over there. Sounds good to me. Let's see where it goes. Can I save first? Huh. What's this? 
Where are you going now? Don't you want to take a closer look at the locomotive? I wanted to go to the save point first. So you get all the dragon treasures and summon a big dragon and get to wish to go Super Saiyan? Hopefully. Let's see if this thing will take us over to those islands. Come on, let's hop aboard. Well, well, it would appear that someone has got it working. <laughs> that wouldn't be your doing by any chance, would it? Igor, I think you would like me to get across his rattle. I guess so. Well, our daggers did the hard work. Wonderful. How marvelous. I take it you must be Mia's big brother. You know, I have this funny feeling that you two might be the key to solving the world's myriad mysteries. <coughs> oh, but where are my I'm manners? We haven't introduced ourselves. This is Wingston, and I am Princess a Animinoi of Sylvania. <laughs> Blue Blood Scholar. Anemone. Anemone. Oh. oh, I thought there was something a bit peculiar about her. Turns out she's a princess. Oh, mind how you speak about my mistress. She's a very important person. I'll have you know. By the way. Now I've heard from Captain Lavander that you are fellow treasure hunters. So it looks like we'll be in direct competition. What fun. Well, to the winner go the spoils. are so cordial. It's time, me. Time to start our treasure. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Took me an hour and a half to get through the introduction. Press any button. I don't see any any key. That was up on the right analog stick. If any allies hit points hit zero during takes them out of action, you use I can't read that fast. I'm feeling good. That's a big train. Speed run tutorial. Seems we've arrived. The question is where? Whatever this place is, I've seen better days. You know, I've been thinking. Any self respecting treasure hunter needs a base, wouldn't you say? And if you ask me, this place seems perfect. Not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I mean, if the thunderous plunderers can have a base, why can't we? Hey, look, there's someone here. We might want to check with him before claiming this place as our own. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. Come on, Mia, let's see what he has to say. We guess that's the train conductor finally got his train back. No. Oh, I can't use my weapon here. I can still roll, though. Good day to you. Am I right in thinking that you have just arrived aboard the locomotive? And what I'd be correct in surmising that you have somehow managed to get S Snouterhorn Station up and running again. Um, I guess. Bravo. Well, bravo! This is wonderful news. The company is saved. Damn. I have completely neglected to introduce myself, haven't I? Houston. The name. Houston's the name. I work for the Trans Draconic Railway in the capacity of chairman, chief engineer, and station master. Called it. <clears throat> Railway aficionado, Mr. Houston. Huh. That sounds like a lot of work for one person. Well, yes, it is rather. But the fact of the matter is that the Trans Draconic Railway certainly has a grand total of three employees. It doesn't sound like much of a company. 
I can assure you that it wasn't always like this. The railway was once a vast concern that served every corner of this land. And as it happens, you are standing on the site of our headquarters and very first station, though they are now in a rather sorry state. Time was you could catch a train from here to whichever part of the world you fancied. Grab me a pop, please. Ah, but alas, it was not to last. One by one, the train stopped running, the stations fell to disrepair, and the staff all left. Hmm. Hmm, it doesn't seem right to ask if we can use this as our... Oh, it doesn't seem right to ask if we can use this as our base. What do you mean? Your base, you say? What do you mean by that? Would you be so kind as to enlighten me? Could I have a quick word, Mr. Winston, in private? You too, poor this, huh? Your friends have been kind enough to explain everything. I understand you came here to search treasure. And so I think it would be absolutely marvelous if you used our headquarters as a base of operations. Oh, I just had a thought. If you are to be based here, you should avail of the company facilities. Well, those that remain at least. Why don't you take a look around? I trust you will find something you can make use of. A good place to start may be the reception desk inside the main station building. I'm sure my colleague will be happy to assist you. <laughs> Come on, let's see what the receptionist has to say. I've got a good feeling about this place. Excellent. Now, once you've had a chance to fully peruse the facilities, come back and let me know what you think. <laughs> Finally get a save. Looks like that's the reception desk. Let's see what we can find out. I'm Miss Cicely. Good day to you. Welcome to the Trans Draconic Railway Company headquarters. I'm Miss Cicely, head of personnel. Not that we have much in the way of personnel at the moment, of course. We still must keep up appearances. Mr. Houston said we could make use of the facilities. Oh, did he? Well then. I'd better explain a little more about how things work around here, hadn't I? I'm in charge of personnel, as I said, which means I deal with new recruits. I'll be honest with you, though, we haven't had anyone getting in touch in goodness knows how long. Oh, I say, what's this? It seems a new job application has arrived. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Dang, hiccups. I see. Interesting. It seems our candidate's a young Jackie, and here's what they have to say. The truth is, we've... The truth is, I've been inspired by this amazing girl with bright blue eyes. She's never given up. I want to help her any way I can. Bright blue eyes, eh? <laughs> I wonder who it could be referring to. Anyway, I've got all the details on file, so you can just come to speak to me if you want to know more. Wow. Sounds like this monster's taking a real shine to you, sis. Maybe if we team up with them, they'll help us find more treasure. Hello there. Welcome to the main reception desk. Shall we take a look at our potential new recruits? Are you paying attention? Monsters who want to join your gang can be recruited from the reception desk. You'll have to pay their fee in order to do so, which is usually food or materials. If the recruitment board is full and there are new potential recruits, the newest candidates will be replaced will replace the oldest. To prevent candidates from being replaced in this way, press start to set as key. Thousand dollars, that's almost all my money. Let's go. Come meet the gang. Gonna be the low levels first. Flip joins the gang. Excellent. 
Ah, uh, sure, we don't need three jumpers. Or who did they replace? Oh, how many do I have? Can I have with me? <laughs> Sound beating, swirl wind, zaman, dozy diddy. Star shower. Increase damage inflicted when hit points are high, but reduces when they get low. Increases damage inflicted by physical attacks, but also causes them to damage the user. Place looks familiar. JP Firewood's good, man. All oh, the status is yep. All right. I haven't looked at you either. You also have Meteor Rise, which is the same as Uzabella Slam Stomp. Yeah. Idealist. After landing a crit, nice. Okay. JP, thank you for the like me, it's Brigado. And J Puff did the explanation point notify a long time ago and now likes the stream. Aha. The name now is Moody Man. Who do we have here? Don't think I've seen you around these parts. The name's Mudamir. I'm head of staff training. The staff dormitory is just through the door. That's where our employees bed down, and I keep them in check. Of course, we've no staff these days, so I've got plenty of time on my arm. hand. No oh, good, not on this side as much as I used to be, but definitely wanted to say hi. It's been a good while. Yeah, hard to catch me on, too, ever since I got my full-time job. You still lurking? <laughs> All good. I'm just... I'm raising heck with you, J-Puff. Of course, yeah. Oh Mr. Head. Houston said... We could use this place. Did he now? Well, it's a good job I've kept the place looking spick and span then, isn't it? Huh. Sounds like it'd be a good place for our monsters to rest up. <laughs> monsters, you say? Well, you'd best leave them to me, young man. Send me a shout if you want any monsters changing otherwise... or otherwise whipping in shape. You'll have the right monster for the job. Slave! Thank you for another like me, your gracias, Briado. Don't worry, I'll help make sure you always have the right monster for the job. <laughs> no stopping us. All right. There you are. Been nosing around here. Seems some sort of storeroom. Such a nice big space, but it's a complete pigsty at the moment. Seems like a waste. Why don't we turn this place into our treasure vault? I mean, we're gonna need somewhere to store all the loot we find, right? We're gonna start with the treasure you've already got. Come on, it'll brighten the place up to no end. What say you? I can turn this place into a showroom for all the nice things you discover. <sighs> sure. No. Great, I'll take care of this. Now, while I work on getting this place looking spick and span, why don't you explore the facilities? I've been exploring the facilities. We're pretty well done exploring the facilities. I think. Unless there's other things I don't know about. Oh, jump through spider webs, okay. going on out here either. Hello. Ah, you're back. Jelly good. I hope the facilities for your satisfaction. Do feel free to use them as you see fit. There is, however, something I should like to trouble you for in return. I have a dream, you see, of restoring the company to its former glory. Ah, just imagine the trans Traconic Railway crisscrossing these That's islands once again. The trans Traconic Railway has always been a great believer in mutual cooperation, you know. At the moment, alas, it's only the line that connects to this island to the Ternagon that's operational. But after seeing what you have achieved, I have no doubt you can restore the station as the jewel in the railway's crown. And once the station is back in action, you'll be able to travel to all the other islands you'll see floating around us. 
So what do you say? Will you help me realize my dream and save the company? Of course. Bra, break out the button. Bunting. The company is saved. But before we get all carried away, I must let you know that there's a fair bit of work to be done before you'll be able to visit other islands. In fact, there is a grand total of three matters I would like to ask for your assistance in. First of all, the station needs a good cleaning. It's been out of use for a while now, and the rubble has become rather unsightly. What this calls for is a generous dose of royal soil. Sprinkle some of that about, and the place will be good as new. The only hitch is that there isn't any royal soil to be found on this island. You'll have to go to the Paternogon to get some. Keep your eyes peeled for any unusual patches of earth, and I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for soon enough. We need more manpower. The second thing we'll need to get the station back on its feet is more manpower. What are you boys, what are you doing back there? There's no shortage of manual labor to be done, so we'll need someone who's not afraid of rolling up their sleeves. To which end, I doubt you can do better than an orc. Those chaps are frightfully strong. I'm sure one of them would suffice. Now, you may be wondering how you're going to persuade this orc to come and work for us. Well, I may be of help to them. Buddy bullets. <coughs> Slightly increases likelihood of a monster wanting to join your gang. Effective against a single monster only. This in, mind. in order to get a monster to join your gang, you'll need to defeat them in battle first. Monsters who take a shine to you during combat will come and visit you at your base once they've dusted themselves down. Simply hit a promising looking orc with one of these projectiles and it's bound to take a shine to you. Give it a shot. Shoot, shoot. The third and final thing we'll need is a substance known as Sanguinite. That's what powers the entire railway, you see. Mario with a 597. Now, I've heard a rumor that the Sylphanian expedition is currently on the Patanagan, and it seems this group have been seen in possession of Santa Sanguinite, the very thing we need. Word is the Sylphians have set up a stockade on Palatinian Plain, so perhaps you may pay them a visit. Will you help? Now, these three tasks have been outlined, can be carried out in any order. Just be sure to let me know when you've completed Great. them. You got it. Sounds like the first thing to do is head back to Paternogon. What do you think? The thing is, I haven't had much of an adventure yet. I can't let my little sister have all the fun. I can handle this one. Don't worry. We'll have the whole railway back on its feet in no time. I guess. Leave it to me, sis. <coughs> Good to know. Quest section of the menu is a place to look where you need to check the quest you need to enter doing. Is there a particular quest you want to tackle? Select it in the main menu as a priority. And we'll just play markers that tell you exactly where to go next. Yeah, we'll just do them. Let's repair the railway for Mr. Houston. All right. Now we can actually get into the game. This is what I've been waiting for. The quests section of the menu is a place to look when you need to check on the status of quest to render as we need to go. Dragon dare to heal yourself. Hold down X to use your magic points to restore health. Okay, that's what it was saying. Okay. Two. Now I'm free to explore as I want.
This is worth remembering. Metal power. Draconia is home to mysterious metals that can be equipped to provide useful power-ups to your monsters. Metals come in four rarities. Bronze, silver, gold, and iridescent. The rarer the metal is, the greater the benefit it bestows. Whenever you acquire a metal, open a menu in order to equip it. Good to know. Equip metals to give you and your monsters a power boost. Every metal is different, so use them to balance out your deficiencies or boost your best assets further. Press Y in the metal inventory to automatically equip the best metals you have available. It's a great option if you're not sure which metals to equip. I would rather do them by myself. Oh, it's a slime metal, huh? It's more hit points, max, yeah, max hit point boost. Alright, who's, who's lowest on hit points then? So that should go to Gunther then. Gunther. Okay. Cool. I'm with it now, I know. Flintstone! This in mind. You can forge for materials in various locations in Draconia. Use what you find to, to cook recipes, make pellets, recruit new monsters, or complete quests. Keep an eye out for clumps of vegetation, conspicuous material deposits, and much more. Be sure to investigate anything you find. Narcissus, a peculiar plant with an unsavory air. Used mainly to make pellets, mostly found in, yeah, here. Wondrous wheat. Ooh, a sham, sham, a <laughs> sham hat which has been uh, scouted. Unfungus. Royal soil. All right. All right, I'm liking this game so far. Slime drop. So far, I'm with it with this game. <laughs> Boys! Boys, settle down. Salt of the earth. Finescence. Alright, cool. So we explore, gather, try to scout new friends, and complete quests. This is, uh, yeah. I'm with it. Solar flower. Ooh, wrong button, wrong button. <laughs> Ooh, a secret cave. J Puff with the 766, 1090 days. Yep, I'm closing in on my stream anniversary. Please. 
Don't throw phones, Mason, that's why. Puff nut. Calm down. Boomer grass. Sparky sap and pile of finescence. Ooh, I am excited now. I was I was on the fence a little bit. Oops, wrong one. I was on the fence about this one for a little bit, but I think right up my alley this game. No! Hey, there's those orcs we needed. If you defeat a monster and succeeded in scouting it, be sure to talk to Miss Sicily at the person personnel desk. All the potential candidates can be recruited there. An orc has been scouted. Supreme stake. Trent, thank you for the like, thank you for your gracias, for the gato. Gracias, obrigado. stay. They seem keen to join the game. Princely powder, a delicate dust that's full of magical might, used mainly to make pellets. Found all over. Imported. All right. Joel, I never like me. Get across this crowd. Oh, welcome, to Joel. Oh, I was expecting more hype than that. That's all right.
Alright, I'm liking the way this game works. Ah, oh, shoot. Didn't mean for that, though. Sham Hat Witch. Oh, the music, music in Dragon Quest games is always top notch. No question about that. Wait a minute, I know you. It was Eric, wasn't it? I didn't see your sister about. You not lost her, have you? No, he hasn't. We're looking for the Sylphinian stockage. And who did you say you were anyway? Ah, uh, you really don't know who I am. I am Captain Lavander, leader of the Sylphonian expedition. <laughs> Veteran of the hunt, Levanter. Good, good. We've come to the right place. Dan the Bugman! Thank you for letting me get your guys. We've got to welcome in Dan the Bugman. <laughs> I command the very finest treasure hunter Sylphinia has to offer. You're a treasure hunter yourself, if I recall rightly, though obviously not in the same league as us. So come on, out with it. You're here looking for treasure, aren't you? That's right. Come on, out with it. What are you after? Got any sanguinite? Eh, sanguinite, you say? That stuff's pretty worthless as treasure goes. We picked some up on our travels as it happens, but we've got our eyes on bigger prizes. We didn't ask for your opinion of sanguinite, thank you very much. If you've got some, tell us where it is. Let me think. I have a feeling young Gail might have picked some up. She's a new addition to the team, but she's got talent. She'll make a fine treasure hunter one day. She should be around here somewhere. Ask her nicely, she might give you some of that sanguinite. You know, you and your sister had a lot of talent, but you're a bit rough around the edges. Come and see me once this errand of yours is done and dusted. I'll give you a lesson or two on proper treasure hunting. They just let me into their base, huh? Overgrown on you. I just wreck up to go wreck their storehouse. Your guards aren't very good, guy. Let me come raise heck in here. Now I am a thief. I prefer treasure hunter. No.
967 days for Dan the Bugman. Oh, I remember you. We met on the Southern Horn. It was Eric, right? And Shannon. Thank you for liking me. You guys forgot to welcome in Shannon. <coughs> Ma'am, he isn't the only one here, you know? Wow. Whoa, who's your monster friend, Eric? She's very unusual. Her name's Parsula. And I'll have you know that I'm not a monster. Anyway. Eric, do you remember I'm me? Gail. I'm Gail. I may be young, but I'm a fully fledged member of Selfanian treasure hunting team. <laughs> Intrepid young lady Gail. Ariel. And this is my partner Ariel. We Sylphanians have always teamed up with monsters and looked for treasure together, you see. It's the best way to make sure you find lots of great stuff. Ooh. Hmm, so it's all about teamwork, is it? So. so, Eric, what exactly are you doing here? I'm here to see you. Uh... Ah, uh, really? You came all this way to see me? Wait a second, you're pulling my leg, aren't you? Seriously, what are you doing here? I am looking for treasure. I see. I see, you're looking for a sanguinite, you say? Well, you're in luck. If I'm not about to give away my hard-earned treasure just like that, hey, I know. Why don't our monsters have a battle? If you win, I'll let you have this sanguinite. Wow. Oh, she wants a fight. We may have to give it to her. <laughs> Great, let's do this. Just come and talk to me whenever you're ready. Oh, monster duels, huh? No way to tell how strong you are, is it? Uh, well, we might just... Do we just... Do we dare to just do it? Or... Yeah, I suppose. How could it... Do it, then. Come on, let's get on with it, then. Right then, let's go somewhere plenty of space. Bring it on. Good to know. If you get into a battle against rival treasure hunting gang, pull their flag out of the ground to clinch victory. To get the flag though, you'll either have to defeat all the all though you'll either have to defeat all your enemies or find a way around them. That's not very sporting of me. She said she wanted to have a monster battle. This is, this is what would happen if I were in the Pokemon world. And I'd be dead because Pokemon are vicious, vicious monsters that can kill me. how concerned I am. Go around the battlefield and collect materials. Is that all of them though? Must be. Yeah. Gail and company have been defeated. I wasn't expecting it to uh, include me in the battle if we were challenging our monsters, but what do you do? Gosh. This is a little more vicious than uh, Pokemon. Gosh, we really are no match for you. <laughs> ah, don't look so surprised. I only associate with the best of the best. Wow. Well, Eric's quite something. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the Sanguinite, as promised. Gale gives Eric a small fragment of bright red stone. <coughs> Hold on a minute, that's tiny. Well, <laughs> it's just a shard. You can find much larger pieces if you know where to look. This isn't going to be enough. Where can we find more? I'd love to be able to tell you, but that's the strange thing about this world. Treasure doesn't turn up in the same place every time. 
if you go back to the same place I found this, there's no guarantee it'll be any sanguinite there. So we're absolutely none the wiser, in other words. If we knew roughly where to look, we would use a monster's treasure vision to find it. Wait, I know. Why don't we try using your dragon dagger to help us? Go on, Eric. I think really think really hard about the treasure you want to find. Do do it right, and I have a feeling the dagger will be able to find us what we're looking I for. I guess so. <coughs> Compass power is activate. You can now use the fortune finder. You did it. You did it. You unlocked the power of the dragon dagger. Now you can use the fortune finder to see in which direction the treasure is you be after. Keep a beady eye on the needle and track down that sanguine. This is worth remembering. L and B to activate the fortune finder. The needle will point in the general direction of the nearest treasure, so head that way. That's the treasure. Now, where could that Right. <laughs> hey! Don't look down. If you fall off a high ledge, you'll suffer a lot of damage. When you hit the ground, watch your step. A little help from your monster palace, however, it might be possible to fall from you in greater heights without so much as a scratch. Oof. Okay. So there is fall damage. Children! Hey, Moises, welcome in. Thank you for liking me, good gracias, Grado. Oops, wrong button. When there's a treasure nearby, your monsters will you know by using treasure icons. The icons will become more striking as you get closer. Watch how your monsters react when using the fortune finder to pinpoint the precise location of the treasure. Lurking hard at work. Fortune Finder another world. Fortune Finder itself won't be much use, but the monster's treasure vision will help you work out exactly where to look. Oh, from each of their perspectives. Okay.
Sangonite, a curious crystal with a rich red hue that's used to power the train lines that crisscross Draconia. Wow. <laughs> you did it. We well, have a gift for finding treasure. Remember, Mr. Yubes is waiting for us back at HQ. He'll be over the moon once we're able to tell him we've finished the three tasks. I can't say I'm looking forward to seeing you huff and puff to the southern horn again, though. Hold up a minute, it looks like very windy over there. Perhaps you could hitch a ride with a little help from my Drakey friend. Right. Go ahead and give it a try when you're ready to go back to the Southern Horn Station. Well, that's convenient. Good to know. Use the glide for table in midair to drift down gently from elevated locations or ride air currents to other inaccessible areas. The world map shows the land of Draconia its entirety. Try to zoom out for bird's eye view of all the islands. Use the map to find interesting looking places or areas you've never visited before. <coughs> well, that's where we came from. I see. We got a big area we haven't explored over here yet, though. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ooh. Very fun. crap as we can. Apparently we're going to need it. For something. Let's get some shut eye. Oh, feeling having a mount is going to be pretty important. Having whatever, yeah, uh, something to move faster. You got me for three, buddy.
cakewalk. Mario, thank you for like these gracias but I got oh welcome in Mario. Another. Well, oh, they're all just max hit point boosts. Alright, who's lost on hit points now? Gunter needs another one. Of evolution. I guess those are going to be important. Slime drop. Salt of the earth. Nice ruins appear to be kind of mine. I can't make heads or tails. Who did this mean? This script really is very old indeed. Which is not to say I can't read it, of course. It's just I don't think what's written here is of any is any of our business. Uh, okay. So this is going to be an important place later on. And I'm guessing we can't go any further back on the island. Yeah, it looks like to be about it then. I think we've been everywhere. Does that save me from fall damage? Yeah. <laughs> I still wonder if I can fall cancel with my weapon. Splish pellets. Oh, I can't get. Oh, I guess I can get back on the land from there.
Yeah, we probably did a good enough job exploring around here. I would think. Finish all our missions. Picked up the whole triple badge. You lose Glide Forte, yeah, we did. Yeah, fall damage. We're back. Welcome back. Talk to the monsters. Remember, there are three tasks that lead to Chief Charlie. Anything to report? Are you making progress? This is worth remembering. When a character has a quest for you, speak to them to bring up a convenient list of all the things they need you to do. Once you've done all the required tasks, speak to the character again and let them know. You might have to gather some items and recruit a super monster. Listen carefully what the character gives you a quest to say. It's bound to contain some hints about what to do next. Shoo, shoo. Oh, best of luck with everything. Yeah, we gotta hire an orc. Welcome to personnel. Hello there, welcome to my reception desk. Shall we take a look at our potential new recruits? We had an applicant. Oh, those are their names, huh? Seventy-seven, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-one, twenty-one. Seventy-four, twenty-six, twenty-three, nineteen, twenty-two, twenty-four. Oh, so we get specific stats are different too, huh? Okay, well I guess we're taking Bash. Have you decided? We need monsters like you. <laughs> Basha joins the gang. Excellent. The launch forte propels you. Oh, I know. This is worth remembering. Scan forte. Search the surrounding area for any place where you can forge materials. A wooden chest line to stop up quickly and efficiently. Muckingham. 69, 16, 33, 20, 22, 18. Physical attacker. Seventy, eighteen, twenty-seven, eighteen, twenty-two, nineteen. So There's twenty-seven attack on you. Thirty-three attack on you. Let's say Muckingham is the one. Muckingham joins the gang.
this in mind. Use Stealth Forte to sneak past enemies undetected. It's also handy for accessing particularly cramped areas that are, aren't reachable when crouching. Oh, okay. Have you decided? You'll be a great asset. Piggy joins the gang. Excellent. <laughs> this is worth remembering. Sprint. With the Sprint Forte, monster can carry you cross country quicker than you can manage under your own steam. You will also be impervious to damage from falls. Nice. You don't quite have enough. Yeah. Okay, good enough. Did the hat adopt the pig? I think so. Are you making progress? Give him the royal soil. Thank you very much. Very good. <laughs> if this is a monster in your main party, if you send a monster off, you can never get it back. Oh! Oh! Oh, I need to get the other one then. Hold on. If I'm if I gotta give one up, I'll hire the, the lower quality orc to give away and keep the better one for myself. How can I help? Some applications came in. Have you decided? Come meet the game. Thrasha joins the gang. Excellent. Man, I'm not worried about you, Grimes. Sorry. Anything to report? Are you making progress? very much like you've rustled up a new recruit. And he's a sturdy looking fellow to boot. He'll make for a more formidable foreman and there's no doubt. Very good. Oh. Ah, it would appear you brought the same when I'd ask. Well, how wonderful. I'm most grateful to you. With this, we'll soon be running at full steam once again. Now, if you'd mind, I'll take that sanguine off your hand and make it. Alright. You actually did it. You completed all the tasks I gave you. Bravo. You've exceeded my expectations, I must say. And how? We'll soon have the station back to its best. In the meantime, I have one more teeny tiny favor to ask. I would dearly love to see the company banner flying once more. What better way to show the world that the Trans-Draconian Railway is back in business? We'll have passengers flocking in no time flat. Now, the good news is the company banner is right here on this island. The bad news is it's stored beneath the ground. I go myself, but company policy forbids me from leaving my post. You two, on the other hand, are not subject to such regulations. So if you care to follow me... You can now access the cellar. I don't know a great deal about it, but beyond that, the door lies the entrance to a place called the Snarl. What I do know is that the company banner is stored down there, so if you would care to do the honors. The Snarl, huh? Huh? 
What's with this big chart thing? Large chart hanging on the wall. Yep, there is. Hmm. That flag makes you think after should be around here somewhere. This isn't the most pleasant place, I'll grant you, but you'll often find treasure in the most unpromising locations. Company banner, a large flag emblazoned with the emblem of the trans Traconic Railway Company. It was stored in a cellar after the company's dramatic downturn. So. This is a company banner. Is it funny? It's the same blue color as your eyes. <laughs> Certainly rather fetching. Well, take it back to Mr. Houston, shall we? Hang on. There's something else in here. It looks like some kind of stone tablet to me. How could it be? Let me read what it says. The dragon lies lost, hidden amongst countless other treasures. It mentions a lapis tail on one of the one of the seven dragon no balls. The tablet definitely describes the dragon stones. But to be honest, we're not any wiser about where the lapis tail might be. I suppose not, but it's still interesting development. Perhaps. There are more of these tablets in The Snarl. Tail Trailer Tablet, a strange stone that bears engraving about the lapis tail, saying it lies lost, hidden amongst countless other treasures. Speaking of interesting, check this out. The Island of Gold? Huh? The Cloud Compass? What's that? I've never heard of it before, but the chart also shows the seven Let's stones. Some writing too. Let's see what it says. The amber glints in giant's horn. The sapphire shines in an ancient one's eye. The amethyst awaits in a gargantuan maw. The underworld swoops past on a dead knight's wing. The lapis lies on a snowy tail. The critrine is sharpened by cutting winds. The ruby lies at the heart of all things. Uh... Sounds to me like seven stones could be in different parts of the dragon body. And then there's uh, La Isla de Lor de La Isla de Ada. I don't know why, but I have a funny feeling that's somewhere packed with treasure. I'd say there are plenty more mysteries for us to uncover down here. Let's make sure we pay another visit right. before long. For now, let's give the company banner to Mr. Houston. Sister, I can tell you one thing. The snarl smells like it's full of treasure. I can't wait to find out what's lying beyond that door, but let's save that for later, shall we? No, let's do it now. Jeez, you guys, he'll get his stupid flag. Why the rush? Right. <coughs> yeah, the classic rats in the cellar. Oh, how wonderful. You found a company banner. Yep, Bravo. have it. Thank you so much. Now, oh, there's something I'd like to show you. If you care to come with me. It's a wondrous sight. It's a wondrous sight. It's not the station has been restored to its former glory. It's the center of the world once again. You now take the train to nearby islands. stations out there now. The good news is the terminal stations on four other islands besides the Ternagin are all operational. The bad news is that none of the other stations have any power. Fix every station you find and the trans Traconic Railway once again reach every quarter of the world as it did in its heyday. 
<laughs> Sounds like we got plenty more places to go looking for treasure. Wow. That's all well and good, but just remember to stay focused on finding the seven stones. Just a moment. Oh, please, if it's a treasure you're after, you should be aware that you're far from the only ones out there with the goal in mind. There are the Sylphians and Silverbones lot, of course, but there's a whole host of other treasure hunters to contend with. Hmm. And frankly, I feel you don't have the manpower or resources to compete. Hmm. Mr. Eugene's right. Our rivals are clearly stronger than us right now. We need to start upping our game. We certainly do, but luckily for you, I've come up with a plan. You two can befriend monsters, can you not? Well, my understanding is that some of our rivals have joined forces with monsters and are hunting treasures together. So I was thinking that we should do the same. If you could put together a gang of treasure-hungry monsters, we'd have nothing to fear. Well, we've already started doing that, didn't we? Goodness me, was that an actual good idea from you? I'm impressed. A treasure hunting gang. I like the sound of that. The only question is, what are we going to call ourselves? Any idea, Eric? Team Treasure. Oof. I like it. From now on, our gang will be known as Danimals. <laughs> I hereby declare this our gang's brand new base. Listen up, this world's full of treasure, and it's ours for the taking! Let the treasure hunt begin! They do sound awfully young to be on this treasure hunt lifestyle, life and death battles with monsters and pirates. Erica and Mia have a very own treasure hunting gang called Danimals. Any treasure hunter worthy of name is going to need a vault with which to store all their loot. In fact, didn't Orcus promise to prepare the vault for us? Let's go see how he's getting on, shall we? Oh, gang menu now. Bear this in mind. Gather treasure and increase its worth to raise your vault value. When your vault value hits certain milestones, your gang's rank will go up. Raising your gang's rank comes with all sorts of benefits, such as allowing you to equip more medals or adding a bonus to a treasure's value when it gets appraised. What's the verdict? I think our new vault is rather splendid, even if I do say so myself. Now all I have to do is fill it in with treasure. We can now access the vault. Oh, I missed that. Dang it, I couldn't read that fast. This is great. Value three hundred twenty thousand dollars. Kicked in castle wall, value $70,000. One of the walls from Zamoskva Castle that has been kicked down and repaired several times. There's the wall Alina kicked in, huh? How did we get... How is that bric-a-brac? That's the wall Alina kicked in. Alan, thank you for the like me, Gracias Grotto. All the treasures you find will be stored in a vault. The more treasure you collect, the bigger the gang will become. 
And the bigger your gang is, the easier it will be to find even more treasure. No, I've got things started by putting some treasures on display, but feel free to rearrange things as you see fit. Right. Right, I think it's high time you actually started treasure hunting in earnest, don't you? The train's waiting. Guess so? What do you mean, guess this so? This is worth remembering. Place your favorite treasures on the pins in the vault and show off your unique troll. Your gang members love treasures so much that they'll even go to the trouble of polishing the treasure trolls you placed in the, on the pins, increasing their value astronomically. Examine a plinth to change the troll placed on there. Or to view information about it, increase the value of your favorite treasure and create your own unique trolls. Eyes on the prize. Vault value That's increased. It's an otherworldly item. Protected and stolen, what? There's more things going on here than we knew about. Or still know about. Looking good. Man, Alina must have been tiny if she... Well, I guess she could have squeezed through there. Better save. Let's get some. <laughs> oh, it's be center camera. Okay. Much impressive. Questless now. Okay. Ah, they said just to go give that to him and we could check it out. Liars. No, I'm just kidding. There you are. You all set for treasure hunt? So fast. This place is still a little short staff, so I think one of you should stay behind. I dread to think what would happen if the station had any unwelcome guests while you were both away. Matthew! Oh, I was really looking forward to going... Matthew Wayne! I was really looking forward to going out exploring together. Still, I guess it's better just one of us goes. Who's going first? Well, uh, the other guy went on the first adventure, so looks like she's going. All right then. Sure thing. Don't worry though. I'll come back and take over before too long. It's my turn now. Bear this in mind. Speak to your sibling at base when you want to control a different character. Stick to your favorite or swap regularly. The choice is yours. Remember, we're going to be doing all we can to help you. Right. Indeed we are. In fact, we have a very particular talent we're sure you'll find useful. We have the power to predict the type of treasure you might find on your travels. We'll do this whenever you're on board the train. 
All right, let's do this. Let's bag all the treasure we can while we search for the seven Dragon Balls. I think we should have a goal to aim for. What do you say we try to collect 500,000 gold coins? Sound good to start? All right. You can now undertake all sorts of different quests. This is well worth Your first knowing. priority should be to complete the main quest, of course. If you have time to spare, there's all sorts of treasure to be found by attempting other quests as well. Adventure quests. Training camp, the basics. Princess Mora's request. Gail, stranded at the station. The stricken saber cat. Inflated eggs. Can I take more than one quest at a time? All stations are going to be restored. Oh, those are open already. Oh. Okay. You have successfully claimed your bonus from Nintendo eShop. The monster will be available as a potential new recruit to your gang. Best is buddy pellets. Omni heal bomb. Well, we better go like whatever the monster was to make sure it doesn't... Unless it'll just be recruit for free. We'll find out. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Here are the candidates. The monster has heard about your exploits and has appealed to appear to turn. Oh! Oh, what are those symbols? We got a shield to... No, I don't know. Be... I don't remember seeing them when I was unpacking. Look in the fridge. Oh, well, I don't know Have you decided? Then. Have you decided? Glad you could join us. Flambe has joined the party. Excellent. Have you decided? <laughs> Let's be friends. Blood Golem. No, I'm just kidding. Redward. Redward joins the gang. Spot, join the gang. Excellent. All right, we want to put hearts on them because they're silver. I'm guessing they're better than what we have. What? No, that's your brother doing whatever he's doing. All right, let's go. You can check your gold ratio for each island from the station destination list. A higher value means your monsters will be able to sense treasure more easily, so be sure to head for islands with the highest number. You can raise your gold ratio by choosing monsters whose favorite treasure matches the treasure forecast for the island you want to visit. Oh, that's what those symbols are. Okay. Prosuda and Porgus will tell you about the treasures that are up for grabs on each island. Use this information to hunt down the treasures you want. Okay. So, Windswept Moors is, oh no, Patrick Noggin's got the best percent then, plus I have my lowest level guys with me. Let's go find some well, I don't know, sometimes they, you eat them up on other people, it happens I guess. You know, did we even get Oreos the last time? Welcome to Stouterhorn Station. Bemidji. 
This is well worth Weird knowing. and wonderful things happen in locations marked with an exclamation point. If you're not sure what to do, heading is a good idea. Give me a second to help my children. I'll be right back, everybody. Right now, I'm back. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we had to come here anyway because we got. Oops. Had to come back here anyway because we got weak gang with us. Now, what do we. There we go. Check if it's important. Alright, he's got cooldown. Jam. A shadow has been scouted. That's not nice. So I'm taking the two of them, share. Share experience because he was level seven when we left, and she's level seven now. Where is pellets? 
So the pellets are replacing magic, I'm guessing. Get them low levels. We need the bat. Let's get them low levels leveled up a little bit. Probably hmm, constantly push them around. Far away yet. Let's... Slime almost pushed me off the cliff. Well played, Slime. Well played. Funny bone. Wrong button. Do I have? Do I not have a block? I am not doing much damage.
chunk of flintstone. An Anjigua. Oh, the other one did stay on him though. Oh no, I didn't have one on him. Alright, we got another hit point one. Oops. Oops. They're both just hit points. I can't even tell what that is. This is well worth Your learning. monsters will carry treasure you find. Some can carry more than others, so bear this in mind when picking a party. Oh, I see. Thank you. Oops. Pretty far away. Oh, 
A King Slime Yellow Level 15. Metal slimes. Oh no, all right, I see how it works. That was bad. We're probably gonna get destroyed by this thing. Slime crown. The crown and glory of sizable slimes used mainly to make pellets. Mostly dropped by King Slimes. I'm full of surprises. Sorry, Basha. try my first time on King Slime with that, but lots of supplies over here. I don't know how to go Super Saiyan. Scored. Piece of paper. All right.
Are you paying attention? Not all treasures in Draconia is created equal. There's a proper treasure that you need. Fortune finder to locate a regular brick or brick you can find anywhere. Be sure to pick up anything valuable you can across. You can't use fortune finder to locate brick or brick, but you must have react to it. Look for a blue treasure icon and check the mini map. Alright. Where's the treasure? Oh, I see it up on that rock. That black gold eyed symbol below the drac uses about. Is my <laughs> smart guy. All right, so it's made a pinch. Monsters will sometimes drop their treasure if they suffer an attack from a rival gang. Pick it up quickly or else it gets stolen. Be aware that monsters who carry more treasure are also more prone to dropping it. Oh, I got a hold to pick up over okay. there. That's kind of what I figured would happen. Got our treasures back. You know, we should probably just stop and heal. Care about the time of day.
Mason, come here. What were you doing to your brother? Mason, be nice to your brother. I told you. Same thing I'm always telling him. I wonder if the way they have some of this set up, if there's not going to be some type of multiplayer functionality in the future to be able to go and visit other vaults. you please be nice. Ooh, a level 15 gold man. out of treasure slots. Alright, we're gonna have to make our way back to town here. Oops. Uh. Yeah. Who's back to town and get our. That's not where the road is. Get our treasure identifier. Oh. 
I'm gonna have to get some gold man later. I can't even get up this way. Uh let me get You know what, we're gonna do the gold man first. I don't care. Where's the gold man? Or did I already beat him up? Did I pay better attention to my own streams? None that you would like me to trash this crowd of welcome in none. What happened to the gold man? I gotta swear we didn't fight him yet. Oh, I guess he's just gone. That's too bad. Don't waste it. Oh, we're in trouble. I'm in trouble. Slam is banned. Scouted. Quit. No, no more tonight. Put it back. You are not eating them all up right away. That's why. Mason. You're not eating them all up right away, that's why.
two, three, four, however many of you are causing problems in there. Give you three. I'll make Mickinock and Star the Cat. What are you doing here? Hello oh, there, I'm Circus from Selfie and Experience. We're about to take off. You're welcome to come with us if you're going to the same place. Oh, I don't need a lift, thanks. Oh, yeah, well, that's cool. They'll, give me, they'll move me around the field lands a little bit easier. Alright, let's go find out what we got, though. Should we get that treasure raised? Danimals Island! Let's go! You can forage, keep an eye out. You can view all your possessions, puzzles, yeah. Oh, cool. Everybody, I, all my monsters are there waiting for me. You managed to find some treasure. You best get it appraised quick. A sword. What kind of sword? What's the sword? Valvasio. Assassin's dagger. Oh, val valuation. Assassin's dagger. A knife notoriously used by underworld assassins. Tangle web. A sticky sphere of spiders webbing that has been enchanted. Thrown at enemies to stop them in their tracks. Copper claw. A set of sharp claws for slashing and slicing. One is worn on each hand. I've never seen one of World those map before. three, upper. A map that shows a world with locations such as Alaha, Japan, Edina, and many more. Oh, that no. I don't know. Are you paying attention? When you find a treasure on your adventure, you'll have to get it appraised before you can learn its name and how much it's worth. You'll find a treasure that's already in your collection. You only get to keep one, the one that's in a better condition. See if you can fill your vault with treasures of the highest quality. And what happens to the ones we don't keep? Very good. Sure, hunting must be awfully hard work, but getting something appraised and finding out its value makes it all worthwhile, I'm sure. It's a bit of a nuisance having to traipse back to the station every time you want to have something appraised, though. So I'd suggest using a chimera wing when you've laden with treasure and want to dash back and hurt. Speaking of chimera wings, I happen to have one for you. I hope it comes in very handy. Yes, uh, I could have used that today. Before I forget, I want the liberty of arranging some daily quests for you. I thought it might be beneficial to the game. They're only minor challenges, but there's a new one every day. Naturally, there's a reward for each one you finish. Each time you complete one, make sure you check that notice board for a reward. Each cooperation has, has its benefits, you know. You can now undertake daily quests. Come back later and check the notice board for more details. I must say that if you continue to collect treasure at this pace, the gang will grow in no time flat. Perhaps by the time you've gathered a good deal of treasure, the way forward will have opened up. I think you know what to do. Set the quest of growing the gang as the current objective. Ah, uh, sure. Growing the gang has been set as the current objective. You can change it at any time from the quest section of the menu. Eyes on the prize. Vault value increased. Rank up, fledgling hunters. The gang's rank has gone up. You can now dispatch more. You can now dispatch monsters. 
Forte cooldown times are down. Forte effectiveness is up. Nice. You now sound, uh, send monsters on dispatch mission. Seek out Mr. Muttermer, and he can help you organize your monsters and send them all over to Tony. Alright, cool. Now 400 days are next. Welcome back, sis. Hey, listen, could we have a quick talk? The thing is, holding the fort down while you were off on your adventures was well, kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. And the truth is, I can't handle it anymore. I need to have some thrills and skills of my own. So I decided I'm going to take some of the spare monsters and head out on an adventure or two. Sir. I had a feeling it was going to happen, so I've already taken the liberty of speaking to Mr. Mudimer. It seems that he's fine with going on the odd expedition. Go and talk to him and give you the details. Yes. It's all right. August. Level 19 King Slime. Yes, I want him. Come meet the gang. Donald, thank you for like me to cross this ground. Welcome in, Donald. August joins the gang. Excellent. We don't have a shadow, do we? Or wait, we do. Not interested in you. You're silver. Actually, we can hire you, so let's just get you. We do have one. I'll just fire the other one. I think is how that works, right? Because they're silver rank. We want silver rank monsters instead. Excellent. Must be the whole. <coughs> oh, is that the only shade we got? We didn't have a shadow before, I guess. Oh no, that was the muck hand that was. Okay. Can't I just look at the other monsters? Well, that's a 10, and those are both level 10s. Man, I got a level 19 King Slime. Oh, no, see, that that shade is level 8. Wait. Umbra is the new one. All right, hold on. But we are going to have to end that there. I got to run to Bemidji tomorrow morning, so let's find somebody to raid, and I will definitely be bringing more of this game as I have time. I appreciate you all. Be well, friends. Let's see to whom we can raid.
You know, I like... I like Kiki's streams. Let's go see Kiki. Appreciate you all. Be well and see you next time. Is there any... Go to square. This is well worth knowing.